So where's Sal with his pitch? There he is. Oh, Sal, what's your real quick? What's your Frankenstein? Rap? I'd really like to send it to you privately. I no. think it's that. No oh, thanks. <laughs> All right. You know, you said the other day you love Frankenstein. I too love Frankenstein. And to me, <laughs> it's already fun. <laughs> Go on. Put your glasses back on, will you? Keep quiet. Um, one of my favorite Frankenstein characters, the Boris Koloff one of 1931. So I thought of a concept on where I could take the nostalgic Boris Koloff monster and bring him back into a modern day film. I don't understand what you're saying. Well, two thousand. What do you mean, do you mean to like through <clears throat> special you're effects? Take Boris Karloff. Right. Here's the deal. It's 2008, and it's a disfigured orphan. And like the Frankenstein monster, he's made fun of every day and he's tormented. And the only solace he finds in life is by watching Boris Karloff, and because he relates, because like the monster, he's misunderstood. He grows up to become a scientist, and he develops a DNA reprocessing um, mechanism where he could take skin and organs and regenerate it. All right. So he uses that own process on himself, and he fixes his face, and he becomes this really good-looking scientist. But at the same time, he's, he's, his soul is still damaged. I want to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, really, because I don't know where we're going. It's the most boring <laughs> movie. Let him go, because he's getting to the best part. Well, go, All right, ahead, go ahead. Yeah. All right. He decides that he's going to use his DNA invention, dig up the bones of Boris Karloff himself. All right. And All bring right. him back to life as the Frankenstein monster. Okay. And he takes the monster to kill the kids who tormented him when he was a disfigured orphan. All right. I, I got to tell you something. What? I want I want to hang myself from that pitch. <laughs> I said to Sal, he's digging up the actor. Goes, actor? Yeah, he's, he's digging, digging up, up the, the actor. actor. He knows it's the actor, but he's he's gone mad. It doesn't yeah, it's matter. An actor who played Frankenstein. <laughs> there's no. There's, but when Boris Karloff is brought back to life, he's going to be Boris Karloff. <laughs> It doesn't matter. matter. Right, how it much doesn't... money do I have to put up for this? His how? dream was that he would tell it to you, oh my God. and that you would be so mesmerized, and you all would right, go sell your right, genius. All right, let me tell you something. This. The pitch is terrible meets awful. <laughs> Not only is it ridiculous, I don't care about the scientists and all that, but the fact that he digs up Boris Karloff to kill children. The movies, that's the beauty but of the, it. But Boris Karloff was an actor, Sal. He I didn't know, play. For, he played a monster. You're telling me this brilliant scientist can't tell the difference between an actor and a character he no, played. No, I, I do. But the thing is, in these type of movies, you have to dismiss a lot of things. Like, we all know a spider that bites uh, Peter Parker really can't make him climb walls. That's true. But, but, so, but, 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 hold but it's on. a fantasy film. I think fans who love the 1931 Frankenstein, if you can envision a modern day uh, the Boris Karloff monster right. in, a, in a movie today, it would yeah, probably, it's cool. It, it, it's, the story makes no <laughs> sense. Awesome. All right, thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, what's the title of this amazing film? Bringing Back Boris. All right, thank Very you. Very catchy. All right. Good luck with the film. I'm I'm passing. I have no luck with the film. I have no money. I have nothing. Thank Frankenstein you. can't even help that movie, huh, Howard? Nope. <laughs> Thanks, Sal.